Center with Jose Suarez. And we're back. Uh, ready for another exciting fight here at Impact Boxing. Coming out of Marlton, New Jersey. Had a little bit of uh, cleanup to do on the right. And we got Jose Suarez. He's uh, from Front Street. Jose Suave? Suarez. So how's that? Suarez. Yeah. Like, listen to that. Suarez. You, you, you do that, eh? <laughs> I'll pronounce yeah, that. Uh, now, in the blue corner is Jeremy Suarez. Making his way around the ring. Jeremy there. Jeremy did the red short, so. Now these guys, are, there's another six pound difference between the fighters. Jose weighing in at 139 and Jeremy is at 145. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. <laughs> So what weight class we got here? Um, looks like welterweight, I guess, so to speak. Junior welterweight, 39, junior welterweight. 45. One's a welterweight, one's a junior welterweight. <laughs> you know, at the end they, of look about, they look about the same size, though, but... Hey, with us for one second, guys. I mean, what's the weight difference in that? that last fight. Weight difference? Six pounds. Six, Six pounds, pounds so it's... Fight. You know, but at the end of the day, if it's seven pounds, it's a match. Well, he better stop looking at me like that. Yeah, did you see that? I <laughs> yeah. caught that too. Well, you, you, you better stop looking at me out. like that. They, they, they know you're professional. Yeah. yeah. Out, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm just here to support amateur boxing, man. Right. Impact boxing. This is great. <laughs> Not a good show tonight. <laughs> Let me stop, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Referee's not happy with the feel of the ring, so hey, just I, I, wiping I, down a couple areas. I, I applaud him for that. You yeah. know, God forbid, you know, a, a boxer slips, you yeah. know, and then he gets punched at the same time, you know. I mean, God forbid, you know. So, and the, the ring is a vinyl, it's a, it's a vinyl mat, so uh, you know, absolutely. You know, I ra I'd rather them take as much time as they need. Get it right. You know, safety is the number one Especially thing. Especially knee buckles or something. Oh, you know, that's anything. That's the worst. You know, so I give you know, take your time, please. How old are they? Uh, I've got 20 years old for Jose Suarez and 17 for Jeremy. You know, at the end of the day, you want to know it's crazy? That's, it's illegal. A 17-year-old, by law right now, because they changed the rules. They just changed the rules. Shouldn't, right? shouldn't be fighting a 23-year-old. You know, but... He's 23. 20, 20. 20. Oh, he's 20. Yes. Oh, yeah, but it's it. it, even... Even 18. after that, yeah, you, you got to be, be 18, 18 now. It used to be 17. You got to be 18. Yeah, this box, uh, this uh, impact, this boxing match was uh, sanctioned, and they kept the uh, old rules, but they had just changed that. Yeah, but uh, who cares? It's definitely. Uh, good action here. These guys look a little bit more seasoned than the fighters we've seen. They're taking yeah. their time. Really thinking about putting their shots in. Kind of reminds me of the Raymond Ford Arthur Jameer fight. It's crazy how 14 year olds look more seasons than 20 year olds. <laughs> now, now, you got to attest that to the, the philosophy and the training of the trainers. Really building that and, and you know, kind of yeah, building that into the fighter. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you definitely you build more. You should put more work into and, and, and give a little bit more intense to a 20 year old than a 14 year old, you know. But, uh, you know, some coaches, you know, if you're a fighter, you're a fighter. You know, that's how, that's how it should be, you know. Oh, nice. Jeremy, 
with a nice right hand there, right hook. Hope Jose up a little bit. Yeah, Jeremy's corner telling him punches and punches. Punch him, Jeremy. Just call your Trying to throw combos. That's it. You know what I noticed? We got two southpaws fighting each other, two left handers fighting each other. That could be real awkward. That could be real awkward. It's not awkward for a right handed fighter fight, like two right handed fighters fighting each other, but it's awkward as crap for a uh, two southpaws. Two southpaws? Yep. I think that was an even even round there. Both fighters yeah. feeling each other out a little bit. I don't know, guys. I see more pictures being taken with the ring girl walking around and the axe. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, that, you got to look, look at it. That's a good thing, oh, too. That, you don't want her, the flash. That's her boyfriend. Who? The ring girl's boyfriend. Which one? Oh, the one right there no, holding the ropes? No the, no, the one that was taking the pictures over with there. With the flash. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Where? Yeah, right over here sitting there. I think that's uh, the white. He's got that. No, he's got the blue no, shirt on. Blue shirt. He stood up. Yeah, that flash came from him. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. Guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm looking over here, I've got. Um, I see over there in Jeremy's corner. His coaches are just feeding him in, talking to his ear. Where Jose was kind of just relaxing. Mm -hmm. Or do you think that's a advantageous not to get into the boxer's ear, not to Absolutely. Mess, mess with his plan? Absolutely. I mean, it meant, I mean mental, you got to be mentally prepared, you know what I mean, just as much as physically prepared. You know what I mean? I mean, even if, even if the, the boxer maybe didn't have his best round, you always feed into him saying, okay, you know what? Good round, good round, but work on this. You know, that's a, it's a better, different way of saying, look, you're, you're, you're not doing what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Instead of saying, instead of saying you're sucking, oh, good, punch, good, good combination by Jeremy. It's, you know, instead of basically saying, look, you're doing a terrible job, you know what I mean, pick it up, you know, because at the end of the day, that's just going to discourage the fighter, you know, there's, there's different ways of saying things, you know, but Jeremy's just counter on this kid, you know, with, with counter right hooks, you know, all, you know, all the time, you know, he's just having an easy night of boxing, you know. Jose keeps throwing that right hook, catching him. Oh, I, I think I have. I think I have guys wrong. Is Jeremy the guy in the red or in the, in the blue? In the black. I've got Jose. Oh, you're right. I think you're right. Jose's in the black. Jose Suarez okay. in the black. And Jeremy's in. Oh, okay. Cuevas is in the red. Well, well, Jose just caught Jeremy with, with, a, with a straight left set. Jeremy straight to the ropes. You know. But, another ooh, nice shot. Great combination. Straight. Yeah, great exchange. Of both fighters. I don't know. I don't exactly know what LD boxing is. I like to know what LD boxing is. I see that Jose's from Front Street, which is a very popular. Oh, hard. You know, back then, if he just turns it over and stops slapping Jeremy, you can maybe you know get you know get him out. There you go. Finally, I saw a jab to the body. I swear, I love jabs to the body because it opens it opens everything up. Because the body does not move. Like you're trying to tell every pro. Every ooh. Yep. Oh, I almost caught him after oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. He would have went. He would have been sleeping thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I tell every amateur and every pro boxer, I, I, I know. Body never moves. Head moves, body don't move. Touch that body downstairs. Just a reminder, guys, Dory's holding up our uh, impact boxing. Oh, is that, is that, is that the guy right there in the booth? No, no, right, yeah, right here. For $10. Straight across. Yeah, yeah. He's actually like a dad. He's the guy with the pink phone. Oh. <laughs> See the pink phone there? Uh, yeah, the little red it. case popping up. Uh -huh. Oh man, that, that looks like the dad and the brother. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Well, we got this going. Yeah, you know, the Jeremy in the blue corner is definitely, in my eyes, he was taking control. He's taking a step back. If he can just turn over those right hooks, he could probably put yeah, those definitely. in Yeah, definitely. Those right you hooks know, are, are landing, yeah. yeah. They're landing. They're landing just turn them over. Yeah, they're not landing flush. full force. Flush, right, uh -huh. yeah. Need him with that jab. And so with that right, hook. that right hook. Yeah. Right hook. It's getting him. It's just not, not following through. There it is again. Nice. Jose, Jose landed a straight left. 
See what I wish I could see, you know, the first two rounds Jeremy took were like no hands, you know, I mean no if hands what's about it. I like to see Jeremy work on new things. Instead of trying to blow the kid out, here or her, he knows he can hit him with anything he throws. Try to work on new things. Work on jabbing to the body, work on your feints, you know what I mean? Work on something. You know you got to fight one, work on something now. It's like a sparring session. You know, but hey, everybody's different. There you go, nice dips. You know, just something you just have fun with. You, know, you, got the, you know you have the fight one. Now, Thomas, as, as a boxer, if you know you've got the round, the, the fight one, like you're saying, uh -huh. are you going to lighten up? Like you're saying, you're, you're working, now you're kind of working strategy, working right. combos, working working on stuff for yourself. Yeah, absolutely. That's a definitely what I'm going to, you know, like if I know, like my next fight, my last fight was an eight-round fight, so I knew it was my first eight-round fight. It went two rounds. I caught, I, I got I got my guy out with a liver shot in the second round. But like I knew, like, I just knew from like the first 20 seconds, oh, you know, I could I could work on things, you know, because I could beat this guy. Anytime I throw a jab or I flinch, he's going to like go crazy, you know, so. But like like for this fight, uh, it's a six. It's a six round fight, so I don't like. I gotta kind of. I don't got as much time. You know, those two rounds are you know a big deal in boxing. You know, but um, like you know, like you said, you, the, the answer to your question is yes. If I know I got the guy beat, you know, this guy he still he's still looking over at me. I don't know why he's doing that. I don't know. But uh, but no. Oh wait wait the ring girl's right behind you. You didn't wait. see no. Oh, oh okay yeah, no that's what it was yeah absolutely that's what it was. Uh -huh. But yeah, to answer your question, like if I know I got a guy beat, you know, just for my own sake, you know, I'll work on things, you know, because it's all, it's always good to get rounds, you know, rounds in a match in, you know what I mean? Because you don't have, I don't have no judges. Winner by judges' decision, Jeremy Swimming. The judges saw it the way we did. That was good. Absolutely.